Well, greetings to everyone watching this program here this morning. It is our debut show of men talking to men. And this is coming through Men on Track. And I am here with four gentlemen. Well, gentlemen, can you please just introduce yourself so that uh, uh, everybody here can know who you are? Oh, well, I'm, I'm Pastor Junto Tetsi. I am a, a Men on Track Youth Coordinator nationally. And then, yeah, I'm responsible mostly for uh, radio talks for Men on Track. Amen. Uh, good morning to you, O viewer. My name is Pastor Boike Mudise, but I go by the name Psalmist Boike Mudise. I'm one of the praise and worship um, members. Uh, go men on track and yeah i'm here today to talk to men <laughs> well my name is tabiso skosana um yeah i think i play the role as the same as uh, pastor Toteti, but um in the leadership in the um of men on track uh, here at colonia bible church but also do some um <coughs> presentation with regards to men on track on the um, radio programs mm -hmm. So yeah, we are here to engage with men. We are here to go to one about insanity. So I just love this uh, men to men. You know, men to men for me, Bishop. Thank you so much. I think this is the program that men out there would enjoy. Well, men on track. We are a Christian organization, and we don't miss our words about that. Our purpose is to raise men who are God fearing, men who are loving husbands, men who are caring fathers, and men who are patriotic in the country. So today, our first topic, we don't even have to go either here and there. We've got to start exactly where we are in a time of lockdown. On the 23rd of March, the president came on television after we had seen uh, how this virus, the coronavirus, had been affecting the world. And on the 23rd of March, he came to declare 21 days of lockdown in the country. And months have passed since yeah. we have been going from one stage to another to where we are today. I will remember that the man is a priest of the family, yeah. the man is the provider, is the protector in the family, is the one who enhances the potential of the family. Maybe I should say it's supposed to, because yeah. many men yeah. are not even doing that. Yeah. So I just want you to share with us today how this lockdown period affected you as a man and your family. Uh, Pastor Susan. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, Bishop. Um, from, from my side, I would say that there were so many positive things and negative things as well that happened uh, for a man. Like, for example, you just mentioned that the president, when he started, he said there's going to be a lockdown for 21 days. So now, psychologically, they say for a person to change the behavior, yeah. and then you need exactly 21 days. So yes, 21 days passed, and then we were locked down at the time. Locked down meaning that you don't go to work, mm. children don't go uh, to school, mm. you don't get to go to church. The positive around it is that uh, I think it was a time for individuals to find themselves, to say, who am I uh, if I don't go to church? Who am I if I don't go to work? 
who am I with my family when we are together at this sure. point in time? Sure. Because most of the time, Bishop, you'll find that men did not get enough time to spend with family. But now the positives is that of the lockdown is that we got to spend more time with family. Mm -hmm. We got to sit around the table with the family to discuss family matters. Yes, the main topic around was COVID-19, coronavirus, but at the same time, we were able to pray together as a yeah. family. Yeah. We were able to do things together as a family. However, at the other hand, the negative part of it, for those who are not really used to doing that, who are not used to spending time with family, it was a very, very serious challenge for them. Hence, you found that from the news that most of the families were shattered because of the lockdown. Mm -hmm. People are not mm -hmm. used to sit mm -hmm. together, discussing together with their family. Spending two hours for them, it was just enough with their family. So, but for me, as an individual, I, I got enough time to minister to my family. Because mm. as a pastor, I would minister to other people. But this time, I was given an opportunity to minister to my family. And then we were given opportunity to discuss around the table with the kids. You know, it was amazing to hear my, my teenage daughters sharing things with me. It was like, if it was not of the lockdown, I wouldn't have known that my daughters were, were, were that brilliant in terms sure, of sure, certain topics. Sure, so sure. for me, there were a number of positives, Bishop. Uh, Pastor Boyk. Uh, thank you so much, Bishop. Um, just to reiterate on what uh, Pastor Juno was saying, um, one thing that had been a big challenge is that we were caught off guard. Yeah, that's right. We were caught off guard, and the majority of us, we were not ready for the lockdown. Remember, we are people who are used to a busy schedule, mm. but a schedule outside the family. Yeah, that's right. We are busy with a program outside the house. Mm -hmm. Even people that are married to other people, uh, the spouses and all that, we, we, we meet for a certain period, mm -hmm. and after that, I go and do my thing. Um, here am I, go to work, it's around six o'clock in the evening, the wife just came in, she's cooking, maybe I'm busy helping here and there, so that's a program yeah. that would keep us busy. Mm. And then, then we go into bed and the day is over. But yeah. now, here we are with so many hours. <laughs> <laughs> now, that other program that used to keep us busy yeah. is no more there. So in terms of family solidarity yes. during this COVID time, what came, what can you say came out of uh, your family solidarity? Yeah, for me, um, one thing that uh, stands out from everything else is that now the role of a father mm. um, now is much more clearer mm. because yes. now you're able to learn the behaviors of the children. You're no longer getting yeah. a post report of what your children are like because you never spend time with them. Mm. Now I realize that I've got introverts in my house. Sure. Uh, I've sure. got extroverts. Uh, I can see from their behavior. Mm. I can see it personally. Uh, whereas before I would rely on uh, my wife telling me about how my children are because I'm hardly at home. Yeah. Daddy is busy looking out. I was taught that <laughs> a man must take care yeah. of his family. Yeah. So yeah. when I go out to take care of the family, there's an element that uh, suffers, which is a relationship with my children. Now mm. I'm able to see that, oh, okay, this one wakes up at nine o'clock. I was taught that, hey, yeah. now I get to... Um, learn to talk to him and check with him like okay why are you waking yeah. up this late yeah. instead of going hey Mona, why are you yeah and and that's what i have learned that yeah. I'm, I'm i'm able to deal better with situations <laughs> that is <Kusan. laughs> yeah. so on on your side on your side COVID hit suddenly you found yourself at home <laughs> what did you learn about being at home Sure, Bishop. Um, yeah, first of all, I think COVID, I call it a disruptor mm. of the of the norm yeah. to the new norm. Yeah. I think for for me, um, what came out very strongly, and um, because of where God has positioned me in different roles of leadership, uh, be it at home, be it at church, be it at a home cell, uh, 
um, be it in my family as well, that it came out very strongly to say that I needed to be fast tracked mm. into a position that God has placed me. Mm. And I think um, that had happened so fast that I am actually grateful that God has actually been preparing me for, uh, for times such as this. Yeah. And I tell you, Bishop, um, be it at work, be it at the home cell that I lead, be it at home, I think uh, by April already I was getting calls r um, left, right, and center for people that want to talk. Yeah. And they, uh, um, we talked about the programs that we had previously, and I'm so grateful about Men on Track because most of the things that I've learned, I've learned them through Men on Track, I've learned yeah. them through the Word of God, how to lead as a man. Yeah. Mm. You know, for me, it was a matter of um, um, being there when you are needed as a man. So mm. that is being a leader. Mm. That is being there and being prepared for s uh, times such as this. Mm. For me, it was a matter of... What is that that I need to do? And what is that that I need to encourage other men? Uh, what is that that I need to encourage my team? Because we are going through these challenging times at work. We are going through these challenging times because when it was Tuesday, uh, uh, Pastor Tutsetti, mm. at, at, at our home cell, we, yeah. we, we enjoyed those gatherings. Yeah. And we had a team that were looking forward to say that uh, we're going to meet. And as a leader, what is that that you do? Mm. At, at home as well, you know, uh, there's time that you, you would find that um, uh, uh, the family is looking up to you. Yeah. I didn't even know that I am a role model in my family. Sure. Um, 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 even my, 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 my kids, some, some of them are at the university, some of them are working already, but we'll have those virtual engagement, mm. them wanting direction. And mm. I, I, I am so grateful. Yeah. And um, Bishop, uh, it's one of the th those things that when you are at home, uh, working from home because I last went to the office on the 17th of March. Sure. To date, I'm yeah. still working at uh, working from home. Yeah. But um, you are there during the day, but you are actually absent because yeah. mm. you are forever in your in your in your office. Mm. Yeah. But when it's time for you to get into the house, yeah. um, you 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 appreciate the fact that they appreciate you in the house to say that. Uh, 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 and, mm. and, and you give that space as well to engage with the family. So, so you enjoy those those memo, those memo, uh, uh, moments. I have a five-year-old uh, daughter. On a lebay vile ha ni ni mutla bona ibile ay fetuleti. Arba ba eh re re za re za tapeler re za kerek re za kerek. Uba na itu ira kina tlo balan today. So ni ni mutla ba bala, but obviously ha abali like abala ba ibile like. But those excitement that yeah. you get, those encouragement that you see that you know what um, God has prepared one for yeah. times such as this. For yeah. me, it has been. Um, Yes, it has been a disrupting moment, but it has been a revelation as well to say that Mudimu Osebeza Katsila Sahai Ho Homotuahai, the way I'll prepare and getting for Nakotetu and Alizonatina. Thank you, Bishop. You know, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen. There's, there's also, uh, a t you know, there are terms that yeah. came, uh, yeah. you know, every season raises up certain uh, vocabulary. Yeah, you know, yeah. uh, there's been this term reset button. Sure. You know, that yeah, sure. COVID, yeah. this COVID season yes. was yes. a reset button. Yeah. You know, uh, in terms of, you see, the, there were two things. There yeah. were two things. Yeah. Uh, the first one is an element of fear. Mm. Yes. Disruption, then yeah. there was an element of fear yeah. because suddenly we are in a time of uncertainty. Yes. You go on television, you just see, uh, you know, we're no longer seeing the football grounds. Yeah. We are seeing hospitals. Mm -hmm. We are seeing statistics mm -hmm. of people dying. We are seeing statistics of people getting sick. Like there was this bombardment. But at the same time, at the same time, there was a reset button yeah. in that. Life had to be seen and, and, and practiced differently. Yeah. Now, I want us just to talk about the element of fear and the reset button. How would you say certain things have been reset in your life? Uh, as far as that is concerned, Bishop, personally, it gave me an opportunity to relook into my life and then re-identify myself as a man. 
and then look at the roles that I have been playing as a man before, and then the opportunity that I'm given to play a certain role in life again. So yeah. as, you, as you just mentioned now that it was like a reset mm. button. Mm. For me, it was like, okay, what is it that I did and then that I was not happy about sure. as a man? Sure. So it's like I'm given a second chance. Yeah. I'm given another chance to do things better. Mm. And mm. then, you know, for example, spending time with my kids, because we, we, we got to spend more time together now. I was not even aware that when I was talking to them, I was actually shouting, because they would even say to me, no, Dad, you are shouting. Sure. It's like, no, I'm not shouting. This is how I am. <laughs> so it's like I've now even learned to, to speak to my kids yeah. like in a normal way, according mm. to them, and then to address things accordingly with my wife, because of now we got enough time. So mm. when you say it was more like a reset button, we got another chance to say, let us re-look re into our lives yeah. and then uh, maybe there were things that we were not doing right, so we are given another chance to do them right mm, at, mm, at, at mm. that point wow, in time. Wow, wow, Well, from the day the president said, <laughs> you are staying at home, you are grounded, yeah. other people were looking at the door. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the moment that door opens, I'm out, yeah. you know? So... How did you reset your life? Well, Bishop, the first thing is um, you're talking about fear that was all around yeah. us. Yeah. So it was about firstly manage the fear, yeah. uh, control it. A yeah. good leader would, would want to do things for the sake of the, of the following. Yeah. Uh, that as the head of the house, number one, I need to redirect my family, being a pastor and all that. And, and one thing that I, 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 I just want to emphasize is that a, a pastor's family yeah. is one of the most deprived <laughs> families in yeah. terms of leadership because uh, daddy would be looking at saving others yeah. and neglecting yeah. the household. Yeah. Um, so you find that in, your in my house, uh, whenever we look into the word of God, it's more about me telling them but not allowing them to express themselves wow. with how they understand the word yeah. because now it's a daddy thing. So we don't have a choice. If daddy is a pastor, then we... <laughs> That's yeah. how life is going to be in this house. Yeah. But now, in this case, what God helped us with was um, now I was in a position where I could allow them to express themselves and to mm. assess, the, 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 give them comfort yeah. and then assess where they are uh, mm. by going back to the word and say, guys, let's talk. Okay, yeah. instead of me yeah. telling you about yeah. what the yeah. word of God is saying. Yeah. So le let me just take your focus out mm. of the COVID and, and, and the other thing. Uh, so le let's talk. Uh, I've got my boys there and I would ask them, um, what is your understanding about this situation? Yeah. And for the first time, mm. I found myself being in a classroom in my family learning. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Learning from my sure. children and my wife as yeah. well because sure. uh, a lot of times we get to want to lead them but without wanting to know where they are what they feel yeah. are they fearful mm. because sometimes you think that they're fearful only to find that these people are strong it's only that you are not in tune with them and that's right yes that's right you know uh, it's 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 very very interesting to hear you you know talking about the adjustments that you had to make yeah. uh, um, uh, during this time. Yeah. It, it, was, it was just a time where, can you imagine, and, and beautifully so, as men yeah. who are God-fearing, mm. yeah. to hear that it was a time of introspection, yes. it was a time yes. of adjusting mm, around yeah. the family mm, and yeah. all that. That is Kosana yourself? Sure. Yeah, Bishop. I think for me, um, sure, my reset button was 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 uh, was different. I I I I, I can say that uh, most of the time I'm a very relaxed person, mm -hmm. um, a very pe uh, a person that assesses and pe a person that gives people a room to 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 be creative and to be innovative, even in my house as well. But for me, this is where the men on tech um, pledge came very strongly to me wow. and say wow. that wow. this is the time that one has to take control. Yeah. 
this is the time when we talk about my purpose in this life yeah. is to protect. Yeah. My purpose in this life is to communicate. Yeah. That's for me, it was for me to say that I as a father, I as a husband need to take control um, unto my family and, and unto the people that I, I lead because there's no time to, 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 to for mistakes mm. because uh, th there's this pandemic, there's this monster that was killing people, there's this yeah. monster that is doing all these things. Mm. So my reset button was to say that I need to take control. Sure. I need to protect. I need sure. to communicate. Sure. And I need to give direction. Mm, sure. And that was my reset by, by mm, button. Mm, mm, yes. mm. I, I want to bring about, I want to bring something very important here as well. Yes. And, you know, brief as you can, uh, because it is, it is something that we can take, talk the whole day about. Yeah. The role of your wife during this COVID and the family, how great was that role? Sure, Bishop. Um, from my side, you know, um, you know if, 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 if there's some, some uh, if, if there's a person that grounded me during this, this, yeah. this period, um, me taking control, me wanting to do this and this for that person, the person that uh, brought to my attention to say that uh, you need also to take care of yourself. Yeah. It was my wife, mm. because she says to me, you cannot take care of others if you haven't taken care of yourself. So that came very strongly, and um, her being her, um, specifically when it comes to children, she would not allow a kid to go outside the house if it was not necessary. Wow. Sure. We, 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 we would have to either be myself, being alone, going to the shops, having to get whatever that I get quickly, and come back. And if I spend more than 30 minutes away, because the shop is just um, mm. uh, about five minutes away from my house, she will call and say, what are you still doing in there? Wow. So yeah. the way she yeah. took this thing yeah. so seriously and the role that she played, and, and she was not doing that only to, to myself, also to the children and also to the other family members. Mm. So that control, that support that she was rendering to me, it was a wow moment to me. Mm. Wow, wow, y wow. You know, Great. Bishop, um, there's basic things that make a very big impact. Mm. Like... Um, coming from an environment where it's breakfast on the go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no breakfast yeah. on yeah. the go. Yeah. Yeah. Because now you, you need to rush to the office, you need to have this one and that one. Now there's no time for you to come together and you sit and you have a meal together. I mean, mm. take the example from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Last Supper. Uh, that's the importance of a meal. Yeah. So, um, and it's also reflecting on the leadership of the, the, the wife who is the, the, the homemaker, yeah. you know? Um, I remember that I, I used in, to look in, forward to those in, meals. In actual fact, this brings about something that I've always been sharing with men, yeah. Yeah. that yeah. the woman yeah. is the manager yes. of the family. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. And the man is the CEO. He's the hunter. Yeah. He yeah. goes out to hunt to bring stuff. Yes. But who manages the, that stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the, the woman. captain of the it's house. The, woman, yes. the captain of the house. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I found myself sleeping late. Um, in other words, when I'm still sleeping, we have a small baby in the house. So we would have the baby around with us. So um, when I'm busy with the child, she has already made breakfast for us and all of us together, same time, which is something that hardly yeah, happens yeah. in our families. Yeah. We go and sit together and then the general will be the general. Yeah. And this is the strength that we, our women have. Yeah. But the challenge is at times we don't even give them that room yeah. for them to express that because I'll be wanting to do something else. I'm busy with that. And she'll be the one. I remember one time we had a project of painting the wall. <laughs> so I take the boys and then everybody is painting and then she comes bringing us something to drink. Wow. Just that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Leadership. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. See? Uh, the supportive role that uh, she was playing was amazing. Like, for example, obviously, when everything changed, we sat together and then we prayed together. We shared the word together. Sometimes I'll forget because of my busy schedule and then she'll always come back and remind me, that don't, don't forget that at 7 o'clock we are meeting as a family. And then she wouldn't say, uh, kids, let's, let's come together, dad is busy. But she will come to me and say, as a leader of the family, remember, you started this day. Yeah. Remember to, yeah. to, to come and join yeah. us at seven. Yeah. Number two, 
uh, the, what I just explained earlier about the extended family helping other people. And she was actually the one who was encouraging me that mm. if you don't do it, who's going to do sure, it? Sure. So you need you need sure. uh, such a person in your life when you, you feel convicted uh, about something, you need an assurance. You need yeah. you need somebody to come and, 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 and pat you on the shoulder to say, yeah, yeah. you are doing the right thing. You are on the right track. You know, <laughs> spouses yeah. Ne, yeah. bring what I, I call an equilibrium or yes. a, a balance yes. in life, yeah. you know. Mm. I, I find that uh, wives were more anxious. Yeah. Men were still like, no, I can go out there, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, but you needed the going out there yeah. to be balanced with yes. the concern. Yes. You know. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so the whole thing of the, the importance of the woman. Yeah. Because... I, I am actually, and we will go to that topic in the future, yeah. where why was there such a spike of gender-based violence yeah. during, during this time? Yeah. Because for me, it was actually a time when men yeah. should actually now really value their wives. Yes. Um, in the past five months or so, the world has been hit by this corona storm. Um, some have lost their loved ones, some have lost their employment. Um, so we want to hear, Hore, how has God been in the lives of uh, men on track? Here with us we have Ndate Dukuleng. Ndate Dukuleng, how has the favor of the Lord been upon your life? To be honest, I was blessed in this pandemic because in this pandemic I started initiative of giving the community bread. Because even though I go out there and ask people maybe to help me, they did that especially in this initiative that I started. Things uh, go well, go well, and for that I thank God. The, honestly speaking, it, it has been difficult, but the, the good thing that came out of it is that we, 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 we saw the grace of God. In our workplaces, uh, especially, I will be specific, ne? It, it was difficult. We lost some of our colleagues. You know, we, we have what we call a news flash. It is a, a, a form where, or a format where information is communicated to all the employees. So when you see uh, information that somebody that you know very well uh, has passed on because of COVID-19, it was very difficult. But uh, at the same time, it, 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 I will say it pushed us you know, to begin to, 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 to pray seriously, I would say, and then depend entirely on God. Um, earlier on stage four and five, things were very hectic, and people were passing in numbers, but it had come down by the grace of the Lord to a, a certain level, whereby we entered to level three, and things were a little bit more, more easier for us. And then, yes, yeah, for that reason, God shows his mercy upon us, and we are living now a little bit easier again. Tolera, nentere li pilombobo utle, bos nambu tata, nentere li tamayla jolaka batubabang, rikore koba ntawarne, iskampa ya kena urona, impe rete mula otu tuting ruwe, se iskahane ba rekenyo di maski, skratta mafela rita li strating, rita maya nteka twanelo, and then re keep the entire keep the legama tung. Can't you enter it? It's like a hamla on a rubbel. Real, 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 real. It is, it is very good to see her. Uh, even our our elderly are still keeping fit. They are still strong. They are still keeping up to to their faith. Kibone mudi mwa ngwahe la because I am in the industry and currently I'm one of the essential workers as a teacher. You know, you are there, but now we go late. We will just pass kwenye la shoho. So I throughout because I've never seen myself here cool. I've tested nothing. I've been taking temperature every day. And you've seen colleagues in and out, but not since So and all I can say to Ebenezer. I was affected as everybody in the world were affected. I also was affected because I lost some members of the family, some people I knew, we've lost them, coronavirus. But uh, in all, 
ke dumela hore mohau wa modimo o bona hetse and as mohau wa modimo o bona hetse ke nana hore like i said it was self introspection we come out of this coronavirus stronger because we know who we are whose we are and where we are going thank you very much ndate mkwena um this is an encouragement to a man out there that whatever you're going through know that the hand of the lord is upon you understand that you are not alone in whatever you're going through the testimonies that we have had it's encouragement to us that we should stand we should continue we should stay prayerful grace to you and to your family Matoda.